So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today we're going to take a look at an EV Trinity Prime build. So this is a two forma build and what we're going to do with that forma is add one V and we're going to change the depolarity in the aura slot to a dash. Now usually I don't mind the aura slot having a depolarity because I really like rejuvenation but with this frame and especially this build you don't need rejuvenation so dash is just better. And this way you can use the more supportive auras like Corrosive Projection, which is the one I'm using for this build, or Energy Siphon, or any of the other auras that have a dash polarity. Then for Power Strength, we're gonna add Transient Fortitude, Blind Rage, Intensify, and Power Drift. We're also gonna use the Vampire Leech Augment, so when we use Energy Vampire, in addition to restoring energy to everyone, we're also gonna restore their shields and ground them over shields, and that just works with this build. It's a supportive build, so why not restore shields? And it also helps your survivability, because with this build you have very little armor and low health so you need to rely on shields to block the damage then for power range we're going to use stretch and overextend it so our energy vampire radiates energy shields and over shields as far as possible then we're going to use fleeting expertise to get some power efficiency and balance out blind rage but more importantly remove power duration because energy vampire will restore shields energy and grant over shields faster the lower your power duration is Basically when you cast energy vampire there will be 4 ticks that will irradiate energy from the target and the lower your power duration is the faster those ticks go off so low power duration is actually a good thing for this build. And finally we have redirection to add some survivability. And usually like 99% of the time in a situation like this I would go for vitality but with this build you can go sort of to 2000 shields with vampire leech. And when you get affected by a nasty slash or toxin proc you can just smash the ground with blessing and heal yourself back up. Now the idea of this build is to restore as much energy and shields as far as possible in as little time as possible. And this build is perfect for that, you'll be running around spamming energy vampire, everyone will have full energy, full over shields and if they get low on health you can heal them up with blessing which is really strong with this build as well. And everyone will love you because you're essentially doubling their shields and they can use abilities all the time. And being much more durable because you have double shields and being able to cast all your abilities all the time is just fun. It's just straight up fun. You know now that Mag's greedy pull was a nerf so it only pulls items for Mag, this is pretty much the only energy battery in the game. And I don't think you will ever hear anyone say no we don't need Trinity Prime. You know Trinity Prime no for this group no. People love overshields and they love having full energy. Now there is one thing with this build that I would recommend alright and that's bringing a derpy weapon like Ignis, Amprex and stuff like that so you don't need to focus on shooting things. You can just hold down the left mouse button and keep an eye out for your party's health, shields and energy. Because if you're not amazing and you bring something like Vectis Prime you'll be either shooting things or keeping an eye out for your party and in my opinion it's just better to have a derpy weapon so you can do both at the same time. And finally, how often should you cast Energy Vampire? Well, since it restores your energy, making it pretty much free, you should cast it as much as possible. And that's it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.